Good morning, people who like magic and have to go to work. That's me. Let's do this. As you can see, we have not played it all over the weekend, but we got lucky with some quest rolls here. Black or red spells. Green or red spells. We'll be playing red. Because we're still going to be playing Is It Flash. No changes since last time. We're just going to do our best, see how it goes. Uh, honestly, it's like maybe I would have changed decks and maybe I would have changed this deck, but since I took kind of a little a little gaming break, I'm going to have to uh, play it some more to see what's going on. So as always, let's get into our best of threes. Traditional Santa rank. Is it Flash? That is us. And let's play. Mythic Championship was this weekend. Watch that with some friends. Um, you know, it was, I think it's, I mean, they're, they do, I had, so let's put it this way. I had a good time kind of examining their growth and how they handle production. Cause this was like a pretty highly produced event. I thought it was like a really well produced event, but then there's like still some other problems I have with it and that, and it's not like, not like on a moral ground, just like as a person who, you know, it's, uh, well, I don't know. I I can talk about that some other time. I don't need to right now, but I got to try and decide if I'm going to keep this hand. So we got to go first in our opening hand right now. We see four lands, a Brineborn Cutthroat, which is awesome, a Brazen Borrower, which is not bad, and an Ember Cleave. Now, I'm tempted to keep this because I'm going to have one bounce. Oh! <laughs> okay, my opponent, I think just left. I guess I expect him to quit the match entirely. Cause he, could he see his cards already? Even before I was done mulliganing? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Um, so now, uh, okay. I don't know what that was about, but that's fine by me. Wow. Easy win so far. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Here, I have two wins for that. Okay. Back in, I guess. All that thinking for nothing. Oh. Well, no. I, <laughs> I'm going to get off track, and it's hard enough for me to think about describing kind of my plays and everything, so. Have some coffee. Ooh, warms you up. All right, this looks like a very reasonable hand. We've got two blue and a red for land. So three lands, a Brineborn Cutthroat, an Omen of the Sea, a Thassa's Intervention, and Ionize. This is maybe the perfect hand, and one more land makes it amazing. But my opponent goes first, so that is the only downside. Let's see what kind of deck they are. Fabled Passage comes down. Let's see what he goes and fetches. My opponent plays that land. He goes and gets a blue. Okay, I'm all right with that, and I'll play my own blue mana here. So if he's blue-white, another Fabled Passage comes down. Goes and gets another blue. So we're just going to throw out our mountain here. We've got four lands now. And we're just keeping up the cutthroat because we want our opponent to take his turn. And hopefully he doesn't have any... Okay, so it's blue-white. There's Teferi. That really sucks for us. So let's throw out the cutthroat. If he bounces it, he bounces it, I guess. I mean, I think he is going to bounce it, so... Yep, there it goes. And now I cannot play Flash spells anymore. Here's the danger of going, like... I didn't get any of my two mana draw spells. That's the tough part. So if he has a board clear, this is going to stink for us, but... But if we can keep this Teferi alive, we're in okay shape. He's opting. That is a good sign for us, people. If we can get this out of here... Oh, man, we're going to be... In such a better, I mean, such better shape this game. If we can't get rid of this, we have already lost. Probably. Probably already lost. Oh, it's Jeskai. Oh my god. I thought this was blue white control this whole time. Let's get this Teferi out of here. He's out of here, and now we are in control of the board. So we've got four lands, a Brineborn Cutthroat. 
All right, good. So he played this into play tapped. It tells me he does not have a four mana spell. He might have a five mana spell though, if he has another land here. Thrill of Possibility comes out. He discards a Rally of Wings. Okay, I'm gonna allow it. That is weird. It, it tells me that he's like look he's looking for something right now, and he's gonna play Winged Words, which if he's that desperate, do I just counter this? To speed up the clock? I think I actually do, right? I don't know what he's looking for, but sure. Let's I'm that may have been a mistake, but I think it was worth it in this scenario. Let's flash in another cutthroat. Let's Thassa's intervention here for counterspell unless he pays twice. Now he's got to pay two to counter this unless he has a mystical dispute, which he does not. Oh, should have played that land first, huh? Can I kill him here? Yeah. Okay, wow. Down comes the Ember Cleave onto the 5 4. It's going to do 12. So that was a very lucky first game. Uh, he probably didn't know we were Is It Flash. So what do we need? He looks like he's going to be a little creature's deck, so. Let's bring in, well, I definitely want these mystical disputes. I think I keep the negates. I don't know, I think I keep <laughs> most of, do I bring the fries? Like this is, this is the perfect matchup for us basically. So, do I just get rid of the Thrix? Is Thrix too slow here? Let's get rid of the Thrix. Um, let's take out two Bone Crushers for two Storm's Wrath. We'll try this. I, Because we're on the draw now, so we need a way to catch up, don't we? Ha, ha, ha. That Teferi is such a pain in the butt. Blue or white, so it deals with... It deals with almost everything. Let's take out the Bone. Let's Let's just take out all the Bone Crushers and put in a ton of power burn stuff. This might be a complete mistake. We'll see. All right, so attic attack. Ooh, my it snowed a bunch yesterday, so it's all I had to shovel last night. But now I've got the heater point at me. I don't think I can keep this hand, sadly. Cuz I've got steam vents, two mountains, fastest intervention, a storm's wrath. And then two Ember Cleaves, no creatures. Storm's Wrath could get me back in it. I think we just mulligan this, though. That looks a lot better. We've got Island, we've got three lands, a Negate, an Omen of the Sea, a Mystical Dispute, and a Whirlwind Denial. And I think we'll just be tucking that Whirlwind Denial back up on in there. Because this lets me counter Teferi, Teferi counters. Lots of good stuff here. Keep six, Whirlwind Denial. Go on home, buddy. And my opponent plays a tap land, so I'm going to throw down my... So I've got four lands. I drew another land. I think I'm throwing down my temple first. Oh, and a cutthroat. This is perfect. This is perfect if he doesn't play anything during his next turn. Let's see what my friend's got. He plays a tap land. Not bad, my friend. So down comes the island. Will he have a turn three to fairy? again. We shall see. If he does, I'm just going to negate it. An improbable alliance. So whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a 1-1 one, one blue fairy. Do I counter this or do I let it go? I think I let this go and just start beating on him. Down comes the cutthroat. And now we're just on, um, 
We're just on don't let them draw cards defense right now, basically. And our opponent plays a plane, so let's see what he's got. A lava coil. So if I negate this, I could still keep up Mystical Dispute for a blue spell, huh? So let's uh let's negate this. And if he plays a blue spell, we're gonna mystical dispute it. Which I think he's gonna have. I think he's gonna have a card draw spell. Oh nope, nothing. Okay. That's great. So depose, tap target creature, draw a card. And this would be, right, this is the second card. Whenever you draw your second card each turn. Sure. Yeah, I'll let that I'll let that one go. That's okay by me. So you've still got Ionize and Mystical Dispute. Okay, good. Tapped land, that's a good sign for us. Because we're probably in Mystical Dispute land here. And we will Mystical Dispute this Teferi. And I will also Omen of the Sea here, because we got to start finding some cards. And we got to kill our opponent, because if he starts making these fairies, we're in big trouble. These are both fantastic cards. Wow. Let's keep the Brazen Borrower out here for now. And we attack for five. And our opponent goes down to 13. And next turn, it's very likely we'll be looking at Ember Cleave finish. Oh, it deals damage. Draw a card, then discard a card. Okay. And then we bounce his token and he's dead, right? Yeah, we won. This is beautiful. God, this deck's awesome. Here, put that back in your hand. And he just gives up. Sorry, buddy. I, I do feel a little bad because he's just trying to have fun with that deck. He's like, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna play an improbable alliance deck. It's gonna be awesome. And then here comes just some jerk with a flash deck. He is probably in though. Ooh, a deck. How are we doing? I gotta check the time. I think we're fine. 5:34. Man, we haven't spent any time yet. Well, let's open our pack, and then we'll get right back in it. And mediocre rare. Yeah. Maybe it won't be someday, Nessian Boar. All creatures able to block Nessian Boar do so. When it becomes blocked by a creature, the creature's controller draws a card. Yeah. Eh. All right. Let's get back in there. We're going to get to gold today. I, I can feel it. Unless we hit, like, a really heavy control matchup. Also, we've been getting a little lucky drawing those Brineborn Cutthroats. If you don't draw the Cutthroats, games could go on for quite a while. see who our next opponent is. I'll leave, I think I'm going to leave my heater go for a little bit longer. BA for GG. Opponent, huh? Okay. Okay, let's do it. Oh. So, this is risky. Two lands, but we see the Brineborn Cutthroat. We see two Ionize, a Whirlwind Denial, and a Thrix. I think I'm going to keep this just out of complete greed and we're on the draw so you know we're gonna see another oh there's it looks like we've got Demir are we well so bad first draw let's crack our fabled passage let's go get an island oh and here comes the thought erasure yep Probably should take the cutthroat here. He's looking at Whirlwind Denial right now, like, what is this card? He's looking at Thrix, what is this card? Ionize, what is this card? What are these cards? What is this deck? Yeah, and get rid of the cutthroat, smart. Now deck, if you'd let me draw. Now I just need to like top deck lands from here until the end. Okay, we're in trouble probably. We did not get another land. And that's about going to wrap us up, I guess. Yep, we are in... Wow. So we are probably going to lose, but we're going to stay with it. 
since if we can get this Teferi off the board ever, we might be able to turn this around, but right now we are just in big trouble. We're just going to have to discard soon. Command the Dread Horde. Doesn't really scare me too much. There's a land. We are in business, people. I mean, we still don't have any cards that we can play. We can play this. This hurts us so bad. Woof. Woof, woof, woof. I, I just I have to hope his win conditions are very uh yeah go ahead I mean it doesn't matter I can't play anything so yeah I guess I'll get rid of the Gadwick but if I ever get off my feet boy are we gonna stabilize real hard yeah I don't know how sad I'm about the Gadwick. I mean, my opponent's got card advantage up the wazoo here, but and there's another Teferi. There's another land for us, but we're not really in any rush to play it, so. There's a plus by our opponent. Another Thought Erasure. I'm not sure if it bothers me yet. We'll see. I mean, my opponent can't really... He's not threatening me in any way yet. There's a Bone Crusher. Do I just run that out? Or do I bop the Teferi? Or do I kill the Narset? Or what here? Huh. I guess I just throw the Bone Crusher down as a creature. Threaten the Teferi. I don't really have a lot of other options here, sadly. This is a bad this was a bad match. Well I actually think the matchup is really quite good, but um Yeah, it kinda stinks. I guess I'll tempt him with the ritual of soot. Okay, he didn't take the ritual of soot. I'm not too surprised by that. Now he's got a blocker. This is, like, horrible for us. Is that smart? That's not smart, right? I just kill a trees with that? Do I keep getting lands here, or do I need something else? What could I possibly get is the question. Like, I don't even know what I could draw at this point that would be that good. Let's keep it. Shoot that. Ooh, I actually should have shot this, shouldn't I? This would have turned on my counter spells. Ooh, I was stupid. I was very, very stupid. Because <laughs> if I had shot this, I could have countered basically anything he played. And if he plays a Dream Trawler now, we're in trouble. I mean, we've been in trouble for quite some time, but... For quite some time... Well, I really should have killed this. Oh, man. What a mistake. What a misplay. If I kill that, he's got an Atreus on the board. Um, I have Negate up. Yep. Am I just quitting? This is really greedy, though. Um. Well, he's obviously going to get the Liliana, because he doesn't need either of these, so... Yeah. Yep. We can win. I think we can win this match, like, really easily, but... I could have won this match, actually. If I had killed this Teferi when he left it, when he left shields down, I could have just countered the next spell and probably won. All right. So let's get out of this game. We can win this match. This is actually a very good matchup for us. We can win this, but we just did. We just got behind. And so he's mostly these things. Um, he has blue spells. Storm's Wrath, I don't think we do. And Chandra, I don't think we do. I don't think we need that stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure we can beat him. Because his deck is, like, tempo-focused. It's kind of slow. 
We might want to restock, so let's keep that. What comes out? The Bone Crusher is probably the worst, with the exception of fair. We could get rid of the Whirlwind Denial. I don't think I'd get rid of the Whirlwind Denial. Maybe the Thrix, honestly. Get rid of the Thrix. Get rid of one Bone Crusher. Yeah, let's do that. I can definitely out-tempo his deck, like, really easily. His deck's very slow. Like, I've played this Esper control list a lot, or variants of it, and a deck like mine is poison to it. It was it was just that I, I messed up, honestly, with the lands a little bit. We want to play first. Um, This is probably okay. We really want to find a Cutthroat, if we can. And we'll just opt right away here. I don't want another island. Woof. Oh my god. <laughs> so we're going to have to be careful because we may need this Thassa's intervention. But if he takes this out of our hand, we're, we're in big trouble. He will not be taking it out of our hand. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Alright, so we need to have Ionize up to counter to Fairy or to counter something else like oh okay is teferi coming on down that's the question look at x cards put the two into your hand okay so this is not a draw effect yeah and i can't let this resolve obviously so let's get rid of that There's a borrower, so that's not too bad, honestly. Let's throw it on the mountain. No black mana for our opponent yet, so that's a very good sign for us. So we can counter something with the Thassas. Oh, and he's stonewalled on mana, it looks like. So do I get the borrower out and start threatening life total, or do I Thassa? Uh, I think we just get the borrower out and start threatening life total here. And there's a negate. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff here. Let's start beating him down with this. So we've got negate, and we've got a Thassa's, end of turn Thassa's intervention, if we want it. No land again, please. It's a fairy time raveler, and I'm definitely going to negate that. There's a cutthroat. Good stuff. So you hold up the fastest intervention. BA for GG, what are you going to do? He's well behind on the board, right? Well, he's not well behind on the board. Okay, in comes the tab land. So our opponent now has four mana. But not this turn. One top. Keeps one top. Here comes a Narset. Do I really care about a Narset? He already kept something on top, so I know he's going to get it. I don't think I care about this. Let's throw that on down. Yeah. Yeah. Do I fast as intervention this thing, or do I draw cards? What are the odds of me having a count? I don't know. I think I honestly just let him go find cards, because I can make him pay more for them, and I can just keep beating the beating the crap out. Yeah, that's not gonna help you, buddy. Unless you get a black mana. Brazen borrower, very nice. So actually, yeah, let's get rid of this. Let's hit his face. And pay two life. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. So now I can counter a spell. I can flash in another borrower. Interesting. Do I counter this Narset? How close is he to dead if I counter this Narset? 
mean, I'm more than okay with this. Uh, do I Thassa's intervention, like a big Thassa's intervention here, or do I borrow her? I think I have to... Oh, actually, I've got a plan. Ooh, I might have made a mistake if he has a if you got a mystical dispute. Send that on out too while I'm at it. Threaten that life total. Still holding the Thassas. What do you got? Yeah, he's got to discard this great. And now I got a huge Thassas intervention. I think my opponent's dead. So now he's gotta be able to play something over the Thassas intervention, which is Yep, okay. And that wasn't even that good of a well. Maybe it was a good draw for us. It didn't feel like that good of a draw for us. I think I just keep this. He's probably going to board in some... I don't know. He probably already had board clears and stuff in there, so he, he's not going to board those in. Our opponent got a little unlucky on land, so we got a little lucky there. Maybe we got a little... This is a great opening hand. This lets us stop the Teferi, lets us threaten life total. Oh, and a restock. Okay, this is great. This is about as good as it can get for us. Do I keep this in light of knowing I have a Gadwick? I don't think so. I think I'd rather find a counterspell or something, another counterspell. Oh, and out comes the Thought Erasure, of course. Probably got to take the Cutthroat here. At least that's what I would do. Okay, so he wants to resolve the Teferi. He's got a Teferi, he wants to resolve it, I'm assuming. We are going to have a big Gadwick restock, possibly, so. Another Thought Erasure. Well, I'm running this out, so. Probably take the Gadwick, now that I just have a bunch of lands in my hand. Good thing I put that land to the bottom earlier. But now he's got to get past this fastest intervention. Oh, come on, game. Please. Okay. I mean, I'm going to cast it to protect the cutthroat here, almost certainly. But if he has multiple removal spells, maybe that's a bad idea. There's Oath. Let's make him pay for it. One. Yep. There's Ember Cleave. Ember Cleave, you are a turn too early or too late. Yeah, dang it. Another Oath Kaya. This is maybe the worst draw possible, huh? Oh, come on. <laughs> Woof. Just not getting anything. Keeps it on top. Plays it fair. Yeah, we're, we lost. Uh, there's an Ionize that is too late for us. Thanks a lot, Ionize. <laughs> Thanks for showing up. So we've almost certainly lost this game now. Yeah, now we almost definitely. Now we definitely have. Wow. We're just going to die to Liliana, I think. Well, let's scry two. Jesus. Wow. So three lands at the bottom. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 lands I've seen. Oh, well, there's a Brazen Borrower. That's something, isn't it? Doesn't really help us, does it? Second Brazen Borrower. Is this going to ultimate? No. 
it's not going to. Send that back to his hand. Does he have like a mystical dispute that he's thinking about playing here? Oh. Sure, I guess. So we're gonna get just ultimated, I guess. Yeah. We're out of here. That stunk. We're so close. We like that matchup is actually very favorable for us. <clears throat> And then our opponent got two discarded effects. See how we're doing on time. 552. We can probably do a few best of ones. Let's see. Can I wrap up any of these quests? No. What have I been playing in best of one? Teamer Ramp. Let's take a look here. Teamer Clover. Grixis Control. Let's try this. I have this stupid enchantment deck that I call it, that is all around... Um, Merriment's Outlaw. I don't. I can't remember what it's called. Outlaw's Merriment or something like that. Um, and it's basically a bunch of enchantments. That's all it is. Jeskai enchantment deck. Oh, enchantments and counter spells. That's the whole deck. So let's get in there. All right, all the cheater cards in my hand. This is actually pretty good, especially if I'm facing mono red. Opponent goes first, though. That's pretty bad if I'm facing mono red. Well, and of course, of course I am facing mono red, naturally. But life gain. Um, Hallowed Fountain. Do I want more lands here? I guess I don't think I do. Uh, no, I guess I do. I kind of wish it was a not hurt my face land here, but... Comes the Fervent Champion down, of course. Our opponent only on one mana, though, it looks like. Which is good. No, nope. okay, I was wrong. Two mana. And of course, he's going to have a Nax hardened by the forge. So is he going to play this this turn? Probably. Does he have another land? He does have another land. The Nax comes down. I mean, I have to kill this board even if he gets a bunch of little token biddies, right? Yes, I do. Pew, pew. So he's going to get four tokens, which is going to stink. But I don't really have much of a choice, so. Best bet is probably Archon of Sun's Grace here. What do you get? Tin Street Dodger. Okay. I mean, we're probably just dead <laughs> in reality. Well, that kills us, basically. All right, well, let's get out of this game. Mono red, this is how, this is how it is. I never understood why people play mono red in the play, the normal play queue. Like, you might as well just rank up, too, because you get rewards, and it's a... Uh, really powerful deck so so it's not even like I don't right I could see the argument it's like oh well I just want to finish my quests and I don't I guess I don't know why finishing and I don't want to rank down by finishing my quests because maybe I'm just playing a deck that's not very good in order to finish them right or I don't have cards and you know whatever color I need black green or something but uh, okay oh I'm stupid well, I don't have a turn two play anyway, so we'll throw it on the Temple of Triumph next. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course, it's mono red again. Why wouldn't it be? I lost Merriment, though. I don't want more lands here. Now we've got enough lands. Yeah, again, like, why, why mono red in the non-ranked play queue? I don't really know what the point of this is, but... And light up the stage in two lands. That's, I guess, good for me. Let's get that out there. 
We're just gonna hold up the ionize here. Whatever he plays, we're gonna ionize it. No, not Imano Red. You cannot have an axe hardened by the forge. You're a very bad man. This actually is gonna be kind of a pain for him to deal with. Ooh, or do I deafening Clarion here? Nah. <laughs> nah, Outlaw's Merriment for life. It's gonna be a pain. Chandra, Chandra. All right, we need the one that deals one damage to a thing, right? What do you do? Lifelink in haste. That is, per is exactly what we wanted, isn't it? Do I want a Starfield Mystic even? Does this even help me? I don't really think so. What the heck? Um... And I can't do that, right? No. So maybe I do just deafening Clarion here. I think I do. Pew, pew. Because now I'm just taking two per turn, and that's not very much. I mean, it is still a lot. It is still mono red pain, but... Let's see what our boy's going to bring down. Of course. He just with his little hasties. Oh, getting lower. There's an ionize. Okay, ionize is great here. Oh, no attacks. Enter. So we'll keep up the ionize. Stupid dance of the manse. I think I only have like a copy or two in here to get enchantments out of my graveyard, but. So now if he attacks with this. So does he have Ember Cleave? Because then I'm going to ionize it when he plays it. Uh, I don't think so. Sorry, bub. Ain't gonna happen. Attack with this, too. He knows that all of these tokens are gonna have haste, right? I guess he doesn't know that. Oh, maybe he knows that I can't attack with it. Actually, I can attack with it. Ooh, that's good. Can we live? That's the question. Let's get rid of the Chandra. Ooh, if he has a uh, Ember Cleave here, we're gonna die. Oh, Ember, not an Ember Cleave one time. That tells me not an Ember Cleave. Definitely not an Ember Cleave. Is that first strike? Oh yeah, that's annoying, isn't it? Well, that's real annoying. Thank goodness for these little tokens. <laughs> Does he have a shock or something? He's a bone crusher giant. Okay. What a jerk. How rude. Oh no, Dance of the Mance, you do nothing. Dance of the Mance, it does nothing. <laughs> Of course, yeah, now he has Ember Cleave. Yeah, I guess I have to do that, right? And I have to do this. Ugh, they always have it. They always have it. Six o'clock, we can do one, we can lose one more game to Mono Red. These people who want to play Mono Red on the unranked queue. Take that, people who are trying to play fun decks. You will suffer. Faku supporter. I don't know why. I don't know how people make up their names in these games. Opponent goes first. We're going to keep this. Look at all these absorbs. Where were you last game when I needed life absorb? Black, white? Are you allowed to play those colors in this queue? Okay, good. There's another land. Um, it's actually still kind of bad, though, because we don't have two blue. We need two blue. Jesus, what is happening? I mean, we still have Teferi. I think maybe we keep this. 
it's our fourth land for Outlaw's Merriment, so I can't really complain too much. Daxos, of course. Of course. Some, of course, I'm just against some aggro deck, naturally. Oh no, I'm probably not against an aggro deck. Will you, <laughs> will you stop giving me those colors? All right, show me a blue land game. Send that back to your hand, young man. That's not a blue land. We do just get to have an Outlaw's Merriment here, though. We should probably plus to get rid of that. But I don't really care about that too much. There's another Teferi. Okay. And out comes the Outlaw's Merriment. We have to hope he doesn't... I mean, this does have enchantment removal, so... It's not... It wouldn't be unheard of for him to destroy my Outlaw's Merriment in a summary, some summarily way. In a summarily? Shame on you. I hope that's his turn, though. There's an Ionize, which is better. Do I Banishing Light this Soren? I don't think so, really. Still don't have another blue mana. Thank goodness we have the Ionize, though. And then if my opponent plays nothing, we can play make start making some humans. Now I gotta be a little careful if I counter a creature. <sighs> Stinks. Do I counter it or do I Teferi it? I guess I should have Banishing Lighted that Soren earlier. I mean, this this costs him nothing to do that, so let's we're gonna just let this resolve. And then we're just gonna have to ferry this back to his hand next turn. It's gonna grow, okay. Well, there's another. There's our extra blue. I think we play this first, though. Send it on back. In comes the Banishing Light. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We can make it. We can do it, friends. The problem is, this is going to come down. This is going to come down? No, he doesn't have two white yet. Oath of Kaya comes down. Yep. So we have lots of removal. That I can actually just... Ex I can just... Ugh, man. My mana is just not lined up quite right today. <laughs> Deafening Clarion. Is that one? Is that a turn too late? Doesn't have to be with the counter spell, I don't think. So, just keep up our counters for now. <laughs> is that a turn too late? Doesn't have to be with the counter spell. Hmm. So does he? Do, do I, does he get anything whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies? Okay. Now I just need to stop another creature from entering the battlefield, like that one. Ha ha ha! Did you see me gain three life? And now we deafening clarion. Oh, 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 oh! Well, whatever, that's okay. Does this die now, too? Almost. I didn't actually mean to play the Outlaw's Merriment, but that's fine. Outlaw's Merriment's very good. Okay, that's a little spooky. <gasps> How sweet it is. Do you think he'll block with that? Save as a Johnny? I was gonna say, I'm kinda hoping he will, good. Let's get this out here. Oh, oh, how sweet it is, divine visitation. <laughs> it's happening, people. It is happening. Oh man, do not have a way to get rid of this, please. Yes, you don't, you are so screwed. We have won, although I may be dead.
Uh oh. Turns out a free 4 4 angel ain't going to do it every turn, friends. So we can counter some stuff if he plays it. Ooh, that's right. Does he see this? No. I will not let you. What is he doing? I don't think he wants to let me get an endless army of angels here. Uh-oh. 15 more life. Oh, crap. Oh, I just lost. Oh, actually, no, I didn't. Yeah, you can do that. That's completely fine by me. I'm just going to make another angel. So I think we just take the five here. We still have an absorb. And then I just gain infinite, um, infinite angels from here on out. Because the aerialist is not going to keep up with this. Infinite angels. 608. Now I'm really, see, now I messed up. Now I'm cutting it close to the, um, no, I don't think so, buddy. Great. Do this. Do I want more lands here? No, not really. These have vigilance, right? Yeah. Great. Cool. And this is like <laughs> four mana make an angel on your opponent's turn. Dude, this isn't going to resolve. No. Ha, where's your precious 15 life now, fool? That was a good game. Wow. Divine visitation for the win. Okay, I have to catch a bus. I need to leave immediately. Thanks for watching, everyone. Ending the stream. Goodbye.